we'll come back and let's continue on what kind of IV fluid. Uh, so far we talked about normal saline, the saline with different and normal half an S, quarter normal saline 3%. We talked about lactated ringer and bicarb rib. And today we're going to add something else to this one liter of free water in this container. We're going to add 50 gram of glucose. So we're just going to put it here and this simply will give us a 5% dextrose solution or what we know D5W. Okay, if you add 100, milli 100 gram, this will give you 10%. If you, get, if you add 500 gram, that will give you 50% solution, just depends on what you add. Okay, now we need to calculate what's the osmolarity of this. We have been on the previous lecture just give you directly the osmolarity. The osmolarity of this usually calculated by dividing this concentration, the 50 gram uh, per liter divided, divide this by molecular weight, um, which is 180 milligram sorry 180 gram sorry and this will give you roughly around 0.278 right um and mole per liter and you need to convert this to milliosmol and the milliosmol you just multiply it by a thousand and this will translate into 278 milliosmol per liter so this is the osmolarity that's what i want you to pay attention that's the most important thing forget about the equation the osmolarity of d5w is 278 which is pretty isotonic it makes it pretty isotonic solution because tonicity of the d5w is very close to the body uh, osmolarity so that may make us a little bit confused uh, because we Almost some of us say, no, D5W is similar to free water. You will give it to treat hypernatremia. And this is true because once you infuse it, let's assume this is our vein and this is the cell. So once we infuse the D5W here, the sugar or the glucose move freely in through the cell membrane and gets absorbed. So whatever left, as soon as it gets infused, the sugar absorbed and what we left is 1000 ml of free water. And then this will of course follow the 60-40%, the 60% go intracellular, 40% stay extracellular and we'll talk about, it, about this later on. So on the paper it, ha it is an isotonic solution but re in reality as soon as it gets infused it becomes very hypotonic similar to free water which means you can add it to any other type of solution because you can add it to normal saline all they may say hey it will become very hypertonic solution that's on the paper but as soon as it's infused no it becomes normal saline and free water so you can add it to half an s quarter an s lr bicarb and when you add bicarb drip you need to mix it with three amp of bicarb remember on the bicarb videos each amp pool of that bicarb has 50 ml of sodium and 50 ml of bicarb okay so that's very important to understand on the paper isotonic with tonicity similar to the body osmolarity and in, once it's infused becomes very hypotonic that's why we use to treat uh, to treat hypernatremia with it for that reason so one of the risks it can cause hyponatremia so we need to monitor for that it can increase blood sugar of course uh, level in the blood and each liter of dextrose d5w okay gives you around 170 kilo calorie uh, in each liter it's not adequate for nutrition but it's adequate at least to decrease catabolism to conclude D5W is an isotonic solution. What's in, in, what's it, once it's infused into the vein, it becomes very hypotonic solution, behave like free water. 
so remember that thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board